What's up, cycle enthusiasts? My name is Kai Braden from Front Row Features Pacific Rim Video. And I'm Shishi A. We're standing right outside of Psycho House in West Hollywood, getting ready to chat with the stars of E's new reality series, Hollywood Psycho. I'm ready to embrace the burn with my quadzilla legs. What about you and your chicken legs, Shishi? Oh. Oh. At Psycho House, the world does revolve around Michelle. She is very much in your face. You tired? You know I don't give a f all right, I'm Shishi here, rocking out with the sexy cast of Hollywood Psycho. Oh, yes, I really had to pronounce the word sexy because you guys are. How did you guys get involved in such an awesome reality show? I mean, we got lucky. Yeah, we got lucky. I mean, it was just an opportunity that kind of presented itself. It's one of our longtime writers was just seeing all the inner workings in the before class and the during and the after class and being close with all three of us. She was like, guys, okay, we have to get you guys a show. And we're like, what we're, are you talking we're about? just living life. I mean, <laughs> you know. That's great. Yeah, that's what you say. Like, it's a, it's a real reality show. We all know each other. This is my brother. This is our adopted brother. Nick and I have known each other for over 10 years. So really, we just got involved because someone came up and asked us to. We didn't go to any castings. We didn't go to any meetings. We didn't right. do yeah. anything except let them bring a camera. Yeah. <laughs> it was all such an organic thing that happened. And, you know, we've been working on this business since the doors opened. So I think this is, you know, come in at a time when we are at very crucial moments of the business. We're expanding, we're getting new employees in, and it creates a lot of tension and drama. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I have to say the least. <laughs> Everyone's terrified of Michelle, except me. Do you understand that it wasn't about you? How dare you? That is my class. I've known Michelle for 10 years, and we have been through a lot together. I love that girl. But she does drive me bloody insane. Why cycle? Why not MMA or swimming or crossfit? Mm -hmm. I think cycling is one of those high intensity workouts that has a very low impact on your joints. So for you know people that have issues with their hips or their knees, it's an amazing workout. If anyone wants to never have hips, I mean sorry, have issues with their <laughs> hips and knees, have hips, um, it's a great workout for them, you know? Like cool. and you still get the same intensity as if you were doing like an MMA or you were running outside or you know, I think that's one thing that brings people into that room for that intensity and that you know, right. intense sweat session. It's and I, for everybody as well. I mean, you know, not everyone can get on the ground and wrestle or go do this or yeah. go do that or not everyone can go play basketball, but everyone can hop on a bike and right. everyone is at different levels. But the big thing about cycling is that you just have to try your absolute best. Right. If you try your absolute best, you're going to get results and you're going to get them fast. So that's cool. a big thing with cycling. So Aaron, what do you have to say about the guys who want to, you know, get swole and, and have bigger muscles? Like, is that something that they need to um, be concerned about when coming to Cycle House? No, definitely not. I mean, I mean, you know, look at me. I'm, I'm 6'5", 220. All right. So <laughs> I try not, you know, I don't want to be too swole, but I don't want to be too lean. And I think right. cycling really helps you meet right in the middle. In the Cycle House, we also use free weights for a song, usually about five to seven minutes in the middle. So you do get a little free work, oh, okay. uh, free weight cool. work as well. So. Sweet. Yeah. Um, Nick, how has this affected your modeling career? Um, has it, and if, if yes, how so? Do you mean spent the, working at the studio or the TV show? Uh, at the studio. At the studio. I mean, it's definitely, for me, it's helped. It's a great way for me to stay in shape, stay lean. Um, which is obviously for fitting into clothes for me is, is crucial, especially yeah. if I'm off doing like Fashion Week in New York or wherever I am. So it's definitely helped. I mean, also on another level, it's introduced me to people that I maybe would have never have met. Okay. We have some of the most high profile producers, photographers, clients. Yes. I booked a, a Target commercial solely from having the main producer, the art director in my spin class. Sweet. Um, I mean, I had to go through casting, but it was a step up. Yeah, You know, totally. So it, it's been amazing. Uh, cycling yeah. has become sort of like this cult uh, in Los Angeles over here. I have so many of my friends who are so obsessed with cycling. Break it down for me. Do you guys think cycling is gonna break into the mainstream and slowly but surely take over? I think that it already is, and that's yeah. why this show is here. I think more and more people are looking for ways to make their cardio more interesting, to protect their joints. A lot a lot of people don't want the knee pain from running outside or the boringness of being on a treadmill or an elliptical machine. A lot of times people want to just escape. Mm -hmm. And I think that indoor cycling is the gateway to that. Where do you get the cardio, the fastest, uh, the most fun without feeling like you know, you're just checking that workout box, saying right. that you did something. And I think that indoor cycling is the way, and I think that's why this show exists. Yeah. A big part of it. Absolutely, and the show is super competitive, right? Give me like the biggest drama that we can expect behind the scenes. Whoa. Sit in front row, I hear, is very competitive. Whoa. Everyone wants to be front row, like the yeah. fashion shows. Particularly, <laughs> I think front row in 
particularly in Aaron's, but in, in most, in every class, really, it's yeah. a very coveted space to be in. And people will fight. Wow. Mm -hmm. Like, people will fight. Like, it doesn't matter what your age is, what your sex right. is, you will fight for uh -huh. a front row bike if that's where you want to be. Right, and people will show up, not have a front row bike. Be like, oh, this bike is still empty. Is somebody coming for it? Can I have it? What? And you're like, okay, well, hang on a second. <laughs> Class starts in three minutes. Yeah. They have three more uh -huh. minutes to get here. Wow. And literally, if they're empty and we're about to start class, I, for one, am like, it's a free for all. I don't care. You're late now, so you're by. And there are people, I'm not kidding you. Last month, two girls came in late to class. I had given their front row bikes away. They stomped out of class and wouldn't stay. No, really? Not oh kidding. my gosh. I, were the cameras rolling? No. Oh. No, this is <laughs> real. This is the realness. Yeah. the realness. <laughs> like drama. Or it's like, I, I get texts all the time, like, who booked my bike? Like, that's my bike. I go, okay, you did not pay for that bike. Okay, we own it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's, let's start there. Dang, yeah. it's personal, huh? Oh, yeah, that's crazy. I made the mistake of saying when there was one front row bike open, like whoever in the class wants to take it, just go grab it right now. Oh. I had three people run for Dollar it. Fight. Run for the Oh bike. my god, it's like Black Friday on yeah. top. Yeah, it mm -hmm. is. It's like, yeah. Hey guys, I'm Shishi and Kai, what's going on? Are you tired? Yeah, I thought I could handle it, but it's a little crazy for oh, me. Oh, come on now, you all talk. Mm, he's already tired. Yeah, <laughs> my legs. Woo! It was a great burn. Make sure you guys check out the new reality series on E! Hollywood Psycho. I'm Shishi. I'm Kai Braden. Peace out, guys. Bye. Psycho House, you are home. Give me a